for the Woolens and Nosh 24 Day Advent Skein 2021. I love this. And each color row is separated by a single white stripe so that I know when I get to the white, I stop so I don't see tomorrow's color until tomorrow. It's so cool, it's so fun. I have just marked my heels. I'm gonna do afterthought heels. I thought about doing a fish lips kiss heel, but um, this yarn is like super thick and plush and the yarn I was going to use is gonna be, cause this, this mini came with it. I was gonna use this for the cuffs and toes and then I was gonna use a Christmassy, like speckly Christmassy colorway that I already have for the heels. But then like this is like super plush and like sturdy and the yarn I had, I was going to use this knot, so I'm not quite sure. Like, I don't really want my heels to be the thinnest part of the sock, but we'll see. I'm gonna, I have to look at it again, or maybe I'll find something else I have. Um, so I haven't quite decided what my heel yarn will be yet, so that's why I'm just, I'm just marking it as an afterthought heel. And then I'll just keep going with my stripes, and then I'll come back to the heel later, um, either at the end or somewhere during. I feel like I've found the yarn for it. Um, but yeah, today's color is just beautiful goldy yellow. I mean, look at this color sequence, you guys. Michelle is amazing. I love this. So fun. So I've marked both. And I just did that by doing math. I didn't even measure. I just did math. Like, I know I like 83, stitch 83 rows on my foot. And it's like five rows per stripe. And I'm going to stop the stripes at row 80. And then I'll do... Three rows and, and the toe color and start the toe. So I just did math. So I knew after day eight, which was yesterday, and that was this one, the green is when I would do my heel. So yeah, just some simple math. I didn't measure, but I love them so far. They're so pretty. <laughs> Like, hey guys, Brooke, do it. Hey guys, 
Hey guys. <laughs> Brooke was just like, am I doing the intro still? I'm like, well, it's not really a podcast, but today is what day, Brooke? December 11th? Yes. Uh, it's Saturday. You clearly have seen that I have not posted the last two days of Vlogmas. Um, I have some recordings from Thursday because I was still meaning to record um, that day. Didn't happen. It's It was a rough week, Brooke. What, didn't you yeah. have a rough week? We had rough weeks separately. <laughs> together we were fine yeah. separately your school week was rough yeah my work week was just like i can't even describe and thursday it kind of culminated into like hell in a handbasket basically so didn't post that and i have several i have recorded all of my advents but you'll have seen all of my advents i recorded those um i haven't even opened today's i'll record today's but today brooke what are we doing today we're going to a craft market in... We're going to a craft holiday market in Haymarket, our little cute little town. So we are going there um, because who's going to be there, Brooke? Angel and Holly. Angel from Scrappy Angel and Holly from Whiskers and Stitches. They have a cute little booth. We're really excited. I know. I hope the weather holds up. It is kind of, It's super windy, but not super cold, right? Mm-mm. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 70, my husband said. 70. Okay, we're in we're in the south, but we're like Virginia, so it's not super south. It's definitely not usually 70 in December. But we're also in northern Virginia too. I mean, this is ridiculous. So I'm still wearing my handed items. I want to voice right now that I offered Brooke handed oh, items. Oh god. And she disrespectfully declined. <laughs> I said, I don't want to wear any knitted items. She literally much. said, I don't want to wear any knitted items. And I just like, what? And then I slammed my door full of my knitted items. You did not slam. You, slow, <laughs> you slowly closed it while looking at me. <laughs> With like a not happy expression. <laughs> Fine. I'll wear all the knitted items. So whatever. Yeah, go off. I'll make TikToks while I'm there. Do, do you hear this sassiness? What's sassy? <laughs> so we're going to go have some fun. Maybe pick up some good Christmas shopping. Um, at this little holiday bazaar craft. I don't even know. It's like a holiday craft market and something. I know, it's going to be really fun. I've never been to one. I didn't know we had these every year. I don't know if we had one last year, but... Maybe it's like a new thing, because everyone's picking up crafts during quarantine. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the mayor, like, found a piece of yarn and was like, I'm going to I make... don't think the mayor... Do we have a mayor? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we... Do we? Yeah. There's a girl in my um, class in eighth grade. Is she the mayor? No, she's not the mayor. <laughs> Her dad just works with the mayor. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, though, really quick before we go... By the way, look, look, Brooke looks super cute in her little sweater. I'm wearing kind of these Christmassy. Brooke looks super cute. Um, we are going to get ready and go. It's like a four-hour, like, market or whatever. I was going to so, say a four-hour drive. I was like, whoa, no, mom. It's, like, it's our cute little, in our cute little town. It's on Main Street and outside, which is why I'm kind of worried about the weather. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, though, since I haven't recorded the last couple of days. I kind of want to go through really quick. Um, my projects because I now I'm I want to sprawl them all out or kind of sitting on the floor <laughs> if you can't tell we're sprawled out. I want to sprawl everything out on the floor so I can show you kind of um, what's going on with my project so far and then we're gonna go to the holiday market and we're gonna take you guys along with us mm -hmm. it's gonna be so fun yes <laughs> okay so first I'm gonna show you the Arabian Tales blanket that I'm making now remember I am modding this this is not actually a blanket pattern this is a stole or shawl or wrap pattern um the original one is this so it's one two three four the original pattern calls for four across and then just like a rectangle and i tripled that to make it blanket width and i'm just going to keep going in lengthwise but i did want to show you i'm almost done with my first row and then i can start adding on up here so here's all the colors this is it's all from my chelsea lux advent i'm using my 2019 advent along with my 2021 advent that i'm opening now this is, I think this was day one of the 2021. And like, these are all, the rest are like 2019. And this is a sparkle base. I don't know if you guys can see, you can probably see the sparkle. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so let me, I have it all sprawled out on my floor. <laughs> and you can see, I think this is, these are all 2019 colors. This is a 2021 color. And then these are all 2019. This is 2021, all the way down. And I have two left, you guys, look. Here's my base row. I've got two left. I've already picked out my colors. They're gonna be my last two colors for this row. And I am so excited. I love this edging, the points. And then I don't know how it's gonna block out probably about like this wide, I think. 
And then I have a plan for all of these, like, so either after every row, I'll go back and weave in all the ends for that row so I don't have a ton at the end, or I'm gonna try it with this next row and see if it works. I'm gonna try the weave in seven method as I'm adding in the one on top and see if that works. I'll try it with this row, and if it doesn't work, I'll just go back after every row, weave in all the ends, that way I don't have a bazillion to um, or, um, weave in at once. But yeah, it is like, it's pretty wide, not too bad. I think it's gonna be perfect width. I did the math and I thought three times across would be plenty and I can make it like super long if I want to, but I wanted to just use the advent yarn. So I did like the yardage measurements and calculations and I think I'll have enough to make a nice size blanket. But I really like, it's a good color. These are, I think these are 2019 colors. And this, look at that green. So pretty. But I just love this. And these are so fun. These are so fun to make. I basically add on one at a time. Like you add on one side, then you continue to add on the other side and then you do the bind off together, makes it the V. So cool. So here's a loop where I need to add on. I kept it loose so I can add on the next color, which is this one. And it's so fun. Now they do take a while. I, I feel like it takes me like 45 minutes to do one whole fox face, I feel like. Um, I don't know why it doesn't feel like it takes that long, but it does when I timed, I'm like, oh, it does take a while, but it's fun. And then I've been, if I try and watch TV, I often mess up because you're, it's sh the whole thing is short rows. So you're counting as you're going and I often will miscount or redo a row and not realize it. And so I try not to do it when I'm like doing other things. I have to do it when I'm focusing, but it's so addictive. Like you just want to put the next color on and figure out the next color. And so my plan is I'm not going to keep going like, cause I can get, I'm only using three grams of yarn per fox face and these are 20 gram um, mini skeins. So I can fit six fox faces about in this whole blanket. I'm not gonna like repeat these rows. It's gonna be all a big mix. So I'll put them in different orders later. It's gonna be so fun. Right, Brooke? Mm -hmm. Brooke's been sitting here the whole time while I talked about this. <laughs> It's gonna be so pretty. I love it. It's gonna be definitely a long-term project, but it's so fun. So here's my progress on my Just Feel Cozy wrap. I mean, it's crochet, obviously, if you guys didn't notice. Look how pretty it is. This is my Rising Tide Fiber Co. advent. It's the Regency advent, which is based off of Bridgerton. I, it's just so pretty. I love the like slanted diagonal. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. So these are the next three colors. So I, it's really easy to get caught up. I do three rows, um, each color, and then I stop. And I have like probably another half a row left in yarn, but I save it because um, I wanted my rows to be even. And um, what happens is I get really caught up really fast and then I just don't work on it because I'm working on other things and then I, I can easily catch up. So these are the last three. I haven't opened today's yet. These are the last three. This is the order. I'm going in order of opening. So this will be next. This is very, very light lavender. You can't really, it looks almost like blue or gray, but it's a very light lavender. Be more plum, that's more bluish lavender. Those are gonna go next. And you can't even tell, the ones that look thicker are actually two different colors. They're just very similar. This is more white. This is like a light, light, light pink. But you can't really see the, the difference. This is different. This one's different. You can kind of see the difference, that one. There you can kind of see. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. And when I block it, it won't roll. Obviously, my I'm not a super awesome crocheter, so obviously I think my cast on was a little tight. That's okay, I'll block it out. So pretty. And it's held double, which is why I have to wind it that way and have them all messy gross because I have, I'm pulling from the inside and the outside to hold my yarn double to get at this thickness and it's just amazing. I love this. And I probably should have done like some super crochet way to like hook these in, but I'm just going to weave them in later. I love it. And also I cast on my December Desert Vista Dye Works um, socks for December, obviously. I said that already. Um, I love this. I'm doing, I split into two because I'm going to do, I'm holding it double for DK size three needles, US three. 
Um, I'm using the scra um, Scrabby, the Crazy Sock Ladies um, DK, free DK pattern for socks. I'm using the numbers off of that. So I'm ca I cast on 48 and it's a two by two rib for just 10 rows. And then I'm just doing stockinette. And I just love this colorway and it's sparkly. This one is Zombodies Kissing Santa Claus. I love that purple in there that's thrown in there. It's not like typically a Christmas color and I just love the, I love the, the coolness of it. So sparkly. I love it. I cast it on so I can get that going. I have all month to make it and this will be my last. I'll have made 12 Desert Vista Dye Work socks for this whole year. I am so proud of myself for keeping up with it. This is a Scrappy Angel bag. I just love this. And this is a Whiskers and Stitches stitch marker. I use all the other Christmas light bulb markers I got that you saw um, on my Merrily shawl. And so I had one left over, so I put it down on my socks. So pretty. And so squishy. I love DK socks. Like, they're not super, th they're not like slipper socks, you guys. Like, if you were wondering about, because I was wondering about that, I thought DK weight would be like slipper socks. They're not. They're just like a athletic sock. I feel like they're like a thin athletic sock, which I wear athletic socks all the time. So that's really what it is. Now you can't wear them in your like super form fitting shoes probably, but you wouldn't wear any socks in those. So it doesn't even matter. I love these. also coming home with me. Oh my god. I have one of these. I'm gonna get more. Pine cones. Pine cones. I know. Look at the, oh look at the unicorn. Pineapples. Pineapples. Oh there's more over here. They're little like golden. Oh those are nice. Oh look at the keys. Different keys. Those are cool. Those are cool. Oh peekaboos you guys. Oh I might get that one. Brooke likes this one but oh the peacocks. With that light blue zipper. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, love these. Oh, and there's the kits. I have that one. <laughs> I have, oh, I don't have that one. I almost got that one. The black one? I almost got that one last time. I, oh, I don't have that one either. Uh-oh. Oh, I have that one. <laughs> I also have one of these. You guys. And these ones, oh, I need to get a couple more, you know. I only have one. I gotta get more, gotta get more. These are stitch marker holders, guys. They're so cute. And this, like, bangle opens up. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, are you guys having fun? So you made good, uh, you guys sold good stuff? I know, Holly sells dogs. <laughs> That's what we've been doing, he's just playing with the dogs. <laughs> They're so cute.
today is December 12th. It is Sunday. Um, I don't think I recorded much after we got home from the holiday market yesterday. I hope you guys like that. It was great. I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> And actually, I wish I got it on video because Angel came up to me and was like, Kim, do you really need another retreat bag? <laughs> I was like, you, you hush, you're supposed to be selling this stuff. So I did get, I got a small one instead. Um, and, I, and I got actually other stuff too. I'll go ahead and show you that here in a minute. I've also got a couple more things that I've received in the mail over the last couple days. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that exciting stuff. Um, I just opened my advent. We just got back from um, Brooks lacrosse game. She's a lacrosse game this morning. She did amazing. She did so good. So that was really fun game to watch. Um, and I didn't record any of it because I was like on the edge of my seat, like nail biting, like watching the whole game. <laughs> so of course her really good games are the ones I don't record because like I'm just so into the game. It was a lot of fun. So while I was at the game, I was able to knit on and the drive because my husband was here. So he was able to drive. I was able to knit on some of my Desert Vista Dye Work socks. So look at that sparkle. I don't know if you can really see. It's so nice. And um, yeah, I got a lot of it done. So I think I'm going to have to go back. So I didn't have any stitch markers with me in this bag. So I'm going to mark my heel, I think, about here. I don't know. I have to go back and count. Um... But yeah, it's a DK weight, so I'm holding it double. I snatched up the stripes so they're roughly the same. Size three, US three needle, two by two rib. I use a Crazy Sock Ladies free DK sock pattern for my numbers. I use I cast on 48. And I said 10 rows of the cuff. And yeah, so I do straight sock in it. I'm gonna do an afterthought heel, so I'll mark it and keep going. I'll do that for both. Um obviously. And yeah, this is the whiskers and stitches stitch marker from the whole set from the Merrily, which I'm actually going to go through and show you the Merrily because today was clue three. So I opened up, you um, already saw that I opened up my clue three yarn and then I've only finished clue one. I haven't even wound clue two <laughs> yarn yet. So I'm going to go ahead and wind that today and I'm going to show you uh, you guys all of it like put together so you guys can see the like kind of like the fade is happening right now. It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, so this is my first sock for the month. I just got to finish this one, make another one, and then I'm good to go for December. And I will have made 12 Desert Vista Dye Works socks this year. And I can't believe I say it on track. I was so, I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> but I'm definitely like, need to get these done in December when I'm doing all the knitting. I'm going to go through and show you guys some more things. Um, I'll show you projects and the items I purchased from yesterday at the holiday market and the items I've received in the mail. Okay, so here is the Merrily Shawl by Raging Pearl Wind. Um, this was a part of the Mystery Knit Along kit that we got for sort of the holiday make along, I think, um, from Rising Tide Fiber Co. So you choose if you want knit or crochet, which came with a knit pattern or crochet pattern. I chose knit pattern. Um, and then also you chose out of four different colorway like themes. This is actually the evergreen speckled theme. So this was the first color. Oh my gosh, and this is clue one, completely done. So you start up here, I'm down here. Oh my gosh, like look, this is my, like I love this and then I love this. Oh my gosh, look at that stitch, how it's separated by the eye, oh my gosh, the garter and the eyelets. I love that detail and this yarn is so plush. So this is all DK weight yarn. And so each weekend, each Sunday, we get to open a new yarn and we get emailed a new clue. And the yarn, like the first three are 50 gram skeins and the final one will be a 100 gram skein. So that'll be the nice big one. So this was the first week I just finished and this is how much yarn I had left over. And then, like I haven't even broke it yet because I haven't even, and then this is the next color. So this is gonna go right here. See, like you can barely see the hint of the evergreen, like the green tint. It's so perfectly faded. And all these stitch markers are whiskers and stitches. Here's that set. I got it all the way, all up and down. <laughs> and this is the next color. And then this is the color I just opened. So look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that fade right there. That is so pretty. And then we'll have then the next one. I have one left, and that's the hundred gram skein. So next Sunday, I open the last one, the last clue, and that'll be the full hundred gram skein. And so yeah, I'm hopefully hopefully gonna get at least clue two done this week. 
that one only took me like two evenings to do and I wasn't only just working on that but you know we'll see <laughs> I'm also trying to get gifting done so all of my fun knits are about ready to get like sidelined for the final dash of gift knitting um but yeah isn't this pretty I love this green I love it I didn't have a green shawl green looks good with red hair I love to wear green and I didn't have a green shawl so I'm like I'll take the green because I almost took the cranberry red because I thought that's very holiday and festive but then I don't have any green I'm like you know what I might as well get the green I love green so yeah and that's sitting here in my scrub angel large retreat bag so yeah this is the Marilee shawl by Raging Pearl Wind I don't I think she'll I have no idea about the plans for release of this pattern like if you know it eventually gets released or if it's only from this kit I have no idea but keep on look I'll go follow her Raging Pearl Wind Okay, just a quick update. I have not done today's color yet. Um, so this only has 11 on there. Isn't this so great? This color placement is amazing. It's so pretty. Um, and I love the white stripe. So it's awesome because once you get to the white, you know to stop knitting. So I don't have to get to see tomorrow's colorway ahead of time. It's so cool. So then, and also it separates these colors. It looks so cool. I love this. So I've already marked my heels and I just did simple math for that. Like a rough estimate of where I, I know how long, I know how many rows it takes for my foot and I know how many rows these stripes were and I just did math that way. So I marked it so I can always go back because I want to also have, I want to have a separate heel color and toe color. My toes are going to match this, the same yarn, but I don't have enough for the heels as well. So I'm going to use different Christmassy colored yarn, I, I believe. I haven't quite decided on that yet, but that's what's so great about Afterthought. Oh, and I have a cat coming in. I don't know if she'll see it on the camera. Um, but yeah, these are great. So I haven't pulled out the next color yet. I'll show you guys later. I'll pop that on here to show you guys what today's colorway was. And this is, and it came in this cute little tote bag. And this is my bag. That's all, they're all going in. Um, this is Red's Lady bag. It's her, it's her medium size. I get like fuzzies all over mine. But yeah, the inside. Okay, so I know I showed this yesterday, but I've added a little bit onto it, so I want to show it again. This is the Just Feel Cozy Wrap by Kalisha Ryan. This is her new um, release. I think it was just released like right as Advent was starting. And it's crochet, obviously. But I added on a new color. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love the slants, like the not perfectly zigzag. I love that so much. Okay, so I put on, as of yesterday, so here's day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I just put on eight yesterday and started nine, which is this purple, and then here's 10, 11, and I just opened 12 today. L I mean, look at the order, because I'm putting these in the exact order I opened them, and I love this. I love how Melissa of Rising Tide Fiber Co. is my Rising Tide Fiber Co. advent. I love how she has this. These colors like place oh my gosh so pretty and I'm holding it double which is why I have to cake them into the abysmal cakes that they are <laughs> my wish I don't know if anybody else did that I think I need a new winder or something because minis is just it doesn't work at all like it's very it's turned into a mess like right away see like I haven't even touched it since it's already falling apart um that's why I like to hand wind my minis, but I can't if I'm holding it double because I'm going to pull from the inside and the outside, and that's how I hold it double. You get about three row, even rows. I can get three and a half rows with the yarn, but I'm keeping in mind, you can either do both. You can do three and a half and attach the next color, or if you want to just keep it even, which I chose to do, um, you just do an even three rows, and then you have leftovers. So pretty. I just love this, and that's the rest. So, you know, wind up the other two, and they're really quick. Like these three rows go really quick, but like you can see how big it is. It's like, it's not super, but it's gonna block a little bit wider, but it's the thickness and the length that's gonna be awesome. So I'll finish that one, do that one. I need to wind up these two, cake up these two. I love this color, today's color. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love that color. Yeah, so that's my Just Feel Cozy wrap. And I'm also housing this in another Red's Lady bag I have. 
I love this one because it sparkles on the inside. It's got a handle. Look at all that. All my leftover bits. I know you saw us also yesterday, my Arabian Tales, but I hope you guys never get sick of seeing this because I'm going to show it to you so often. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, as I mentioned yesterday, um, this is modded. So the original is a wrap. One, two, three, four wide. I tripled it to make it blanket width. And I'm just going to do both my 2019 and my 2021 Chelsea Lux Advents. This was day one of 2021 colorway. Most of these are 2019. And I've popped in randomly 2021s as, as I kind of go with it. Um, but yeah, so I finished the whole first row. So I had to show you guys. Had to show you guys lots of ends. This is a 2021 colorway. 2021. But look, here's the end. Oh, I got the last two. So yesterday I still had two left. And I did it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know if I can get it all in one shot. There's a... <laughs> Hi, baby. Which one are you? I don't even know. I think it's Nyla. Nope, it's Olive. <laughs> they look the exact same. We have different color collars on them. And Olive has a white chin. Olive. There, she's got the white chin. And <laughs> Nyla has a gray chin. That's literally the, the only difference. She's just... And Olive's not even my yarn sealer. I don't know what she's doing down here. Maybe she's going to seal it for Nyla. Maybe she's... Is she uh, clocking for Nyla? Nope. Oh, she's like, oh, stop talking about me. Okay. So here's my Arabian Tails all the way down. Oh my gosh. So like, here's my hand. It's going to be pretty wide, right? Like blanket width. And I didn't want it to be throw width. I want it to be like blanket width, but not like, you know, bed size blanket, but like a larger than the throw, basically. I just love this. Love it so much. Okay, so I'm perfectly done with the first row. Now I go back to the beginning and I start adding on to the top. And some people went like, they kept doing the rows or you can start going up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna keep doing the rows because you keep it live. Like you keep a stitch live on the side to keep going because you attach new colors to the side. And that way, if I keep going up, I'll have a whole bunch of live stitches. And you know, so I'll probably just keep going across. Plus it's easier to plan out colors that way because now what I was doing this way is I was looking for colors I liked all in a row and also next to each other that look nice, complimentary, but also like not all the same type of colors. You know what I'm saying? I want to get like a good vibe. So now I'm with this one though, it'll, the next color will have to look good with this color, kind of look with this color, and then we'll also will have to look good with that color. So it's like, you know, kind of the whole circle effect. It's going to be so fun. It's actually really fun picking out all these colors. And they're all sparkly. I don't know if you can see this one a little bit. This is all sparkle based both years. So pretty. And I'm going to try, now I'm going to try to do the weave and steven method on these ends. If it doesn't work out, I'll just after every row go back and weave in all the ends for that row so I don't have like a bazillion ends to weave in at the end. But I'm hoping the weave and steven method will work um, as I'm attaching. So that would be helpful. But if not, it's okay. This is going to be an amazing blanket. I just want to do a little appreciation post <laughs> or appreciation video for my zebra yarns advent. Okay. So it's not an advent through zebra yarns. So I don't think she did the stripey advent, which I also got that we started on Christmas, but this is through an advent swap, um, brought to you by between knits and pearls. And we did like personally an advent swap. So Anna and I got paired together and we did our own little advent swap from stash. So her stash that she gave me were basically leftover of her dyes, which, hello, <laughs> it's like the most amazing stash ever. Um, and not only that, but she's, I mean, you guys, I'm, I'm not sure about the order of some of these. I think this is the order, but this is an amazing fady gradient. So, oh my gosh, Anna. <laughs> First of all, she's like the sweetest person ever anyways. And this is what I get for my, and not even, this is like what, day 12? We're halfway done. Look at this beauty. First of all, my absolute favorite color ever. And then all of, oh my gosh, just all of these. Look at these great pinks. Look, and then these, I hope these are stripey. Oh my God, I bet they're stripey because she specializes in stripey. 
These are gonna be amazing. And look at this one. Oh, I just love the color, the color choices. Oh my gosh, Anna. Okay, so, I mean, and these look similar on camera, but this one is lighter than that one. And this one's still got, I still have a stitch marker on this one because I didn't want to lose it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this gradient fade business. So pretty. So my plan with this was to make the litmus cowl um, by Stranded Dye Works and do the mod that Castleview Yarns did, which essentially is like you have a full skein, like a neutral full skein. So you stripe it and then you do a, a stripe of your five gram mini. And then you switch colors and you keep, but your constant is the neutral color, which I have tons of neutral skeins I'm going to throw in there. And I can't, I haven't decided yet. And then what Castleview Yarns is they add like a little section of like small stripes. So like two row stripes of the same color sequence all over again. So I'm going to do that. But she's giving me such large, <laughs> um, stashy bits that I think I'm actually going to get another project out of it. So I'm going to do a litmus cowl for this. And then the leftovers are going to go into a bunting because I talked about wanting some kind of garland for the backdrop of like our podcast or on my wall decoration. And I saw somebody, I can't remember who I saw, and I think it was doing the Between Knits and Pearls um, 24 Days of Cheer Advent Swap. They were using theirs to make those triangles for a bunting, like a bunting, like a flag bunting um, decoration. I'm like, oh, I can do that. Now I have tons and plenty to do both the litmus cowl and a bunting decoration and this is going to be the most beautiful <laughs> like colorful bunting sequence i mean this is gonna be amazing anna <laughs> and she always has little treats in each in each package oh my gosh she's so sweet i just love this you guys so pretty and this i was holding this in my i got this bag another reds lady bag um, I knew it wouldn't fit all of them, but I was putting in there because I was waiting for another bag that just arrived yesterday that I'm going to open up and show you guys. I got a Daisy Girl Co. Daisy Girl and Co. I think it's Daisy Girl. Yep. Daisy Girl and Co. bag. You guys know how I like my, um, Scrappy Angel peekaboo pouch? Well, this is like that, but larger. <laughs> so I knew this was coming. And so then I can move, now I can move all of this over to here and that opens this bag up because I have other gift knits that I need to get started, like little hats and stuff that can go in here perfectly. So let me get this baby open and I'll move everything into here and I'll show you all about this bag. Okay, so you guys all know I was on a hunt, like a mad hunt for a whole bunch of Christmas bags. <laughs> so I was scouring, I found, obviously I got my scrappy angel bags and then I found Red's lady bags and got some from her and then I saw Daisy Girl & Co had a update and I'm like oh my gosh let me go check her out because I saw her on Crazy Sock Lady with this big old window I'm like wait I have to have you know how I like the peekaboo feature and it's larger than my peekaboo pouches um and I was looking through all of her different prints and I just fell in love with this print isn't this just the cutest I love her label I love this Christmassy print. I love the barn, the snowy barns, and the snowmen. I love this, and the trucks, so pretty. And I love this handle. I always like a handle. Like it's almost, like I usually, the only thing I don't, that I buy that doesn't have a handle are my peekaboo pouches, and they're so small that I easily grab them anyways. But yeah, so and it's got like a nice box bottom. And I love the inside fabric. Oop, you guys can't really see the inside fabric. You can easily see through here. It's a good size. It's a good size. So I'm gonna put all of these in here. So I can move my zebra yarns, 24 days of cheer advent swap. I don't wanna say zebra yarns because I mean, but this is zebra yarn. <laughs> so look at that, it's so pretty. So that will be where I work my bunting and my litmus cowl out of this Daisy Girl and Co. bag. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This bag is amazing. And it's got a nice zipper top. Perfect. I had a stitch marker order come in. Um, I made this last month. It is Whitney Marie Anderson. She makes these amazing stitch markers. And she has other things too, I think, like earrings, I think maybe, but definitely stitch markers. I saw she had this neon, sweet neon holiday kind of theme going on. 
And so I went ahead and grabbed the tree and the gingerbread house. And these are much larger than I thought they were gonna be, which actually is perfect. Cause I'm gonna do this to like mark my blanket. It's gonna mark my blanket. At least one of them will mark my blanket and the other one will probably mark my cowl or my, um, my shawl, my, uh, just feel cozy wrap maybe. So yes, this will mark cause they're really, I mean, but they're really light. So you could use it as a stitch marker for sure. This will definitely mark my blanket. They're so large. I love them. And they're not like super large. What can I show? Let me grab a mini. Here's one of my wound up mini balls. So you can like look at size. So they're not like humongous, but they're not like tiny, but they're amazing for marking larger projects, which I'm totally going to mark, use it to mark my blanket. And they're super light, so you could totally use them for whatever you want. They're so cute. She is Whitney Marie Anderson, just like this on Instagram. So from the holiday market yesterday, I went to the Whiskers and Stitches and Scrappy Angel booth and you know I had to buy some stuff. I just, I can't you guys, I have a problem. Okay, so the first one, oh my gosh, this print looks so much better in person, this fabric. I saw it right away on like, how have I never bought one of these yet? They're cute little yarn balls. I got the small retreat bag. I almost got the large retreat bag. And this was the one that Angel was like, do you really need another one? I said, shush, I, yes I do. As a matter of fact, I only have like two of the small ones. And one's a Christmas one. So I feel like another one, non-Christmas, be fine. And you can use them for all sorts of things, right? Because you can easily hold two skeins in here. And um, I really like it because they're the wireframe tops. Let me see if I can open this really quick for you guys. So yeah, it just stands up all by itself. Two pockets, the wireframe top holds it open so you could easily just leave it open and work out of it. Um, but I like to zip mine up because I've got cats and but it's easily smooshable if you want to put it into another project bag, which you know, when you travel and stuff. So yeah, this is the small retreat bag. I love this print, little yarn balls. And then I saw, I like, I need another peekaboo pouch. I mean, I really probably don't, but, oh my gosh. The placement of these peacocks. Look what she did. She perfectly placed those beautiful peacocks right there in the middle. I had to grab it, of course. And look, she did it again on the back. I mean, come on. And there's my, the little angel that comes with it. I love this little tab that she picked. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So I got another peekaboo pouch, which I have one Christmas, one Halloween, and one regular. So now I only have two regular, so it's not that many. <laughs> and then where's my angel? Um, you always get an angel stitch marker or progress keeper on every bag. And if you guys want, I have, there's a coupon code in our, um, I think it's like chickpea 10 or something. Go look down in our show notes. And also there is a, for whiskers and stitches, I also have a um, coupon code down in show notes as well. I think it's 15%. Go check it out. Okay, so like I just put an order in. You guys already know. You saw me. <laughs> and I was there and she had new stuff. Look at the Santa. Just look. Oh my gosh, it's glass. So pretty. So cute. Got him. And, I, and then I saw these little pine cones and I don't know why, but I just, I couldn't help it. <laughs> They're so tiny and pretty. I had to get those. And then I saw these last time. I almost got them. It's like blue jade or no, blue sandstone, blue jade. That's green. Blue sandstone, I believe is what she said. And it's like the super dark blue, which looks black normally, but it's super, um, I guess, I like it's in the light. It's like super dark blue and sparkly. I definitely can see the sparkle. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And these are light. These look huge. They're quite light. They're not heavy. I love these. I got those this time because I couldn't resist twice. <laughs> and then I got another one of these. So these are her um, stitch marker keepers. Um, these are great for holding like a whole bunch of stitch markers on it or like your sets. Like I have many of her sets where they come in like multiples or whatever. So actually I, my other one I have was just holding my set. So I knew that's where I can reach if I needed like a big project with a whole bunch of stitch markers that kind of matched. So, and this is just, you know, like an easy open. 
um, one and it just opens like this. And you can even do, you know, you can have this one and you can also use this one, whatever you want. So here's my new one. I had to get another one. And then, oh, from Scrappy Angel. So this is all from Whiskers and Stitches. The two bags are from Scrappy Angel. I grabbed a couple more, you know, scissors because I realized none of my Christmas bags had scissors in them and I kept getting stuck without scissors. And then this one's from Whiskers and Stitches, which she does not have on her website, but she was making them and she put them on at the booth. Knit and Sip. I love this because I have the other one that she made for me that has a knitting juice on it and with my initial on the back. That was for when we went to Rhinebeck. And um, then she had that one there, but then she also had this knit and sip, which I did not have, so I had to grab one. Because who doesn't need more wine glasses that has the knitting on it? And it's gold and sparkly. So yeah, so really, I guess I didn't get that much. <laughs> right, Angel and Holly? I didn't get that much. Just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. That was a lot of stuff I just showed you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wind up some yarn, do a little bit of knitting, definitely do laundry because it's Sunday and I need to. And then I'll get this posted for you guys to see tomorrow finally. <laughs>